What is up guys? Today we are going to be looking at six tips you need to get to Immortal. Today I'm going to be doing this video from the perspective of position 5 Disruptor and I'm going to show you things that I do all the time in my games when I'm playing at my best that you should be doing in your games too. None of them are that complicated but if you can do these consistently, regularly, then you are going to gain MMR as support. So with that being said, let's get into the first tip. All right, this first tip is an oldie but a goodie. When you die as support, you need to check and refill your mids bottle if they need it. So the key timing here where this is like really, really good to do is right around five minutes because your mid has probably got the water rune at, you know, they got a water rune at two, they got a water rune at four, and that period from four to six minutes is pretty hard for most mid laners. So you'll notice here, I'm checking out my bat. He needs a bottle refill. He's low on resources. And securing your mid, these resources, right before the six minute rune really sets them up for success. Um, like if you're, you should check and do this. Like if you die at like three minutes too, right? If you need to like, if they could use a bottle refill sometime at like three minutes, it's okay to come do this then, but this like 4.30 to like 5.15 window, really key if you die in your lane, you know, feed intentionally, but if you die in your lane to check your mid, see if they need a bottle refill and come secure the rune, or sorry, come refill their bottle and you can do what I did here, which is tip number two, which is secure the rune for your team. So as a support, if possible, you should try and come to the runes at six minutes, the power runes. Um, sometimes position four, you can even come to some of the water runes. Doesn't happen a lot, is pause five. Uh, but it, it just sets up good plays, right? This co-op only dies because I'm here guarding the rune. Granted, I, I stole the rune and that's what secures this kill, actually. Um, so be at the runes at six minutes as support. Um, if at all possible, like there's sometimes you just absolutely can't, something's happening, that's okay, but make it a priority to come to these six minute runes and, you know, just to reiterate tip number one again, refill your mids bottle, especially at that 445 to like 530 mark, uh, that's a super important time to refill that bottle. So tip number three I want to talk about is playing towards your carry when they're strong and do not play towards them when they're weak. So this game is just an example of my safe laner being strong. He had a good matchup. He's against a Beastmaster. He's not afraid of this Beastmaster at any point. He doesn't need to leave the lane. And when that's the case, you should lean towards playing toward like in this lane still and extending the laning phase as the position five. Whereas in matchups where your carry is kind of getting trashed, whether it's a bad matchup or, you, you know, you just didn't play the lane well, you should look to you know, play away, play towards mid more, play towards the other lane more, and try and be more effective elsewhere. You want to play towards where your cores are strong. If your carry is weak, don't keep playing towards him, right? Like, you as a support, you don't have the capability to, like, make him strong by being there, right? If he's in a bad matchup or whatever, it's just, it's just not going to work well, right? So here, notice I came bottom again after the mid rune. I did go back mid, helped with the next rune, and then I, again, came back to my carry. And in a lot of games, I won't do this. Like, if, you know, my carry's having a tough time, or if he's, like, um, super strong without me, maybe, or if, like, the offlaner is abandoned the lane, I won't keep coming down here. But if they're offlaner, something like a Beastmaster. Beastmaster has nowhere else to go, and this life sealer is strong. So I continually play down here longer than I, like, otherwise would. So that is tip number three, play towards your carry when they're strong and extend that phase of the game out. And this leads in to tip number four, which is sit in open lanes, guys. I think that some supports don't think they can do this, but if there's an open lane anywhere on the map and like nobody on your team is going towards it, like you should feel comfortable like just sitting in it and taking that farm. So you'll notice I was sitting bottom a little bit while my carry was jungling. Uh, he ended up dying, you know, so be it. Here, my bat is doing some ancient stacks. My death prophet's in the lane top. Um, so I just sit mid. It's totally okay to just sit mid for a while and, uh, you know, glimpse their quap. 
This guy ended up not liking me in this game, I could tell. He, like, focused me in fights. I think I made him really mad with these, like, rotations and these glimpses. Uh, but notice I'm just chilling in this mid lane. And I continue to chill in this mid lane. Um, I'm waiting for my ult to come off cooldown. Uh, my life stealer kind of abandoned bottom. Uh, kind of just waiting for one of my cores to feel like they want to do something, right? We use Lasso, we used my Death Prophet ulti. Life stealer at this point is just farming now that he's left the lane. So I'm just sitting in an open lane. And this is how you kind of accrue these, like, high net worth um, leads of support. Like, I am doing very well this game. Obviously, I've been a part of several kills as well. But just sitting in these open lanes getting this experience. And, you know, I have 13 last hits, which are 12 minutes for position 5. It's kind of a lot, I think. So, sit in open lanes, especially when you're waiting for your cores, like, cooldowns to come... Your cores ultimates to come off cooldown. So this next tip is going to be to smoke to get out of bad parts of the map. So we make a play bottom where we find their carry farming and then we like transition it with the exo into like taking this tower. All of this is fine, but the end result is that we're going to be stuck. Not stuck. We are going to be in what as radiant is basically the worst part of the map to be in. Like, so this is all well and good, right? We got... You know, we got another kill, we got the tower, but like now we're all bottom. Four of us are bottom, right? This is not inherently good, because like they can be farming the whole rest of the map and like have a ton of space, right? If you're just all sitting down here as a group. So when you're down here, when you're like done doing whatever you're doing down here, you need to get back out on the map, called get back out on the map, right? Right now we're not on the map. We're all like, eh, hey, we're over here like in our own safe lane jungle, not doing anything, right? So we've got... Two heroes are TP'd mid, or it looks like our life sealer TP'd mid for some reason, but our bat from bottom is TP'd mid, and then I smoke up me and Tusk to get closer to the action. And, you know, I there was something already happening here, but even if there wasn't, this would still be a good smoke to like quickly and stealthily, like in case they have a ward, get out back onto the map. You know, maybe in your games this smoke turns into like you running like all the way up here and like killing the CK when he respawns top you know this smoke can turn into a lot of things but the key concept here is smoke when you're in a bad part of the map to get back out on the map so you can see we smoke up here and you know it just turns into a bunch of kills which leads me in to my sixth and final tip of this video this is going to be follow your strong cores uh <laughs> a more whimsical way to say it is you know, kind of go where the wind takes you. That's that's how I thought of this section at first when I was watching it back. So we smoke from bottom, we walk mid, pick up a kill. I mean, disruptor. It's so easy to do that. Um, I connect with like my bat who a GP mid. I follow my death prophet who found this <laughs> tiny. Then I connect with my bat who found this ogre, and then I kind of just follow my bat who like runs into the enemy jungle. Um, you know, follow your strong cores, look to keep playing with them, and good things will happen. What ends up happening here is, like, he's jungling, but then we connect on this Queen of Pain and actually pick up this kill. And, you know, this whole sequence is just, like, following your strong cores or, you know, as I like, as I said, uh, go where the wind takes you, right? I just kind of went where it was natural, uh, but the key was, like, making the plays with your cores, Making sure you're like tuned into what they're doing. As a support in this phase of the game, you are completely at the mercy of like making sure one of your cores is around to like make a good play for the most part. That's not to say that like me and Tusk solo couldn't make some play, but um, you should really be looking to play with your cores and enable them. This especially goes for like you like legend, um, ancient, divine, you know, highest higher MMRs where your cores like really start to know what they're doing. Um, you should definitely look to enable them and play with them and you might think this is like in conflict with uh, Like the tip number four like sit in open lanes, right? But remember at that point, you know My cores were just jungling waiting for their ultimates to come off cooldown Those are times where you do want to wait for them and then you need to be aware of like their cooldowns their timings Do they want to make plays right now if they do you need to go with them and if they don't that's when you like chill and farm so those were the six tips, you guys. Hope you like this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, please give it a subscription. 
If you like the video, give it a like. If you have any questions, I do read the comments, so you know, let me know. And if you want to be coached by me, check the link in the description to my Discord. Uh, and there's all the information for how to sign up there. And I'll see you in the next video.